What's up everybody, it's Skids, and I'm going to be playing a little Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. As many of you probably already know, I like to play a little Dark Souls on the down low from time to time, so I'm just foaming at the urethra over the thought of playing this game. So sit back, get yourself a nice cool glass of water and your favorite trusty crusty fapkin, and let's get into this shit. My character's just sitting over here, looking like a high schooler who just lost his first game of Magic the Gathering. It looks like it's our first step into a brave new world. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my Baja Blast Mountain Dew right quick. Little does this man know as soon as I get out of this fucking tutorial menu, his dishes are gonna be washed. Alright, come over here and face me. I've got all the tools I need. Come here. Look at that shit. Just wiped his windshield. You want some of it too? I'll do the exact same thing I just did to your fucking twin brother. Get your ass over there. Fucking eat those steps. I'll have to come back and curb stomp his ass. Deflection. I'm guessing that's just a parry. Measy peasy. No fucking challenge. These gooey asshole fucks don't stand a chance versus me. Fucking throw Mr. Miyagi himself at me clad in samurai armor. Look at this shit. You think I'm scared of you two? Not a chance. Fuck. Alright, there we go. It was only a matter of time. Fucking some fucking Octomom out there is gonna be heartbroken when all her identical children fall over dead. Alright, come here. You want some of this work? Your bamboo reed hat won't save shit, son. And your balding head will fare no better. Okay. Two down. Time to face the king of the hill. The counter slash. Okay. Very useful. This man is here to sell me propane and propane accessories, all at a reasonable price. And there we go. The first part of any good business deal is a firm handshake, and he just had the best handshake of his life with my sword. I don't know if this guy's supposed to be a tutorial boss or not, but I'm just washing his fucking dishes for him. Look at this shit. I'm gonna back up for a second, get a little stamina here. Fucking put some work on his ass, come here. You had a lot of nerve being alive. Take a seat, son. Man, he shit himself. I got a pellet for it. I'm assuming that's a consumable. I'm gonna meddle- Oh, no, no. I'll go fuck myself. I'm not gonna stealth past him. Sniff my shit, sperm riders. I'm out of here. Now, earlier, I was listening to these two villagers initiate coitus inside their minka. And uh, in between the sounds of penis hammering asshole, I heard one of them talking about a shinobi hunter hiding amongst the bandits. So what I took away from that is that one of these basic bitch bandits I've been beating the shit out of is just going to go ultra instinct on my ass all of a sudden and beat my shit in. So I'm looking forward to getting fisted by that. Ooh, snowball bushes. My grandmother has some of these. I'm assuming from that sperm wall materializing by the gate that I'm in the vicinity of the shinobi hunter. He might be that guy with the halberd. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yep. I'm thinking that painting guardian right there is him because I haven't seen one of those before. So while I wait for him to come over here and fight me, I'm gonna tell a little story here. Well, not really a story. Oh, fuck. It seems he might have spotted me. He's impressed by the size of the boner poking out of one of the bushes. And I don't want to be detected, so we're at quite the impasse here. Anyway, uh, the, it's not really a story, it's more of like a thought I had. But we're going to have to hold that thought, because this man's about to hold my fucking katana! <laughs> Got his ass! Fuck yeah, imagine getting a swashbuckler like that while getting ambushed from the bushes. I've just ended this man's whole career. Oh, looks like Santa's little helper's out here to come fight me as well. Come on, who's a big strong man here? Poise boy or halberd douche? Both of you gotta come on and take me on? I don't care, I'll take you both on. That's right, I learned that skill from the little ceramic boot I encountered earlier. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna keep on fighting these two. I'm gonna tell my story right quick because I'm probably gonna die anyway. I get a sip of that Baja Blast Mountain Dew right quick though. I'd rather fight the Shinobi Hunter than the fucking Poise Lord there. Looks like the Torch Hollow's getting in on the action too. I've got this fistful of ass here that I'm gonna throw at him. I like to think it's just handheld shark gas. Look at this shit. Anyway, what I was thinking about earlier 
was I got offered to go get a manicure and a pedicure, a mani pedi or whatever. And I declined because I'm a big, strong, hairy man with giant testicles and all that kind of stuff, so I didn't go. But uh, I was thinking, like, people that get pedicures, like uh, people that get their feet rubbed and feet worked on, how, I wonder how they do that, knowing that the person that's working on their feet has probably just got, like, a raging erection from messing with their feet. Because if I was big into feet and shit, that's the career path I would choose. And I'd make up all kinds of shit. I'd say, like, alright, come here. Uh, this is a special um, foot massage technique I like to use. It's called the swashbuckler. It's where I lean you back and put my tongue in between your toes and wriggle it around a little bit. It's really great. You know, the shinobi hunter here can at least fucking show the decency to get hit by these ninja stars I'm throwing at him. It cost me skill points to learn how to do that shit, bitch. Alright, come here. Oh, fuck, it's all over. Pulled his anal bead right out of his ass. Fuck yeah. Well, for that being the fucking new player killer, that wasn't too fucking bad. Anyone else want some? Didn't think so. And I'm about to do something really mature. Dip, dip, potato chip. Dip, dip, potato chip. Alright, so the first time I tried to fight this boss, all of his little minions made me fudge my pants, so I'm just gonna steal this guy's cranberry juice right quick. Right out of the neck hole, douche. Oh, fuck. My foot's caught in the ground. What the fuck? This ain't Groundhog's Day, bitch. My foot got stuck in the map. That man came over here and roasted my s'mores for me. Alright, come here. You've entered my dojo. Look at that, stealing the cranberry juice right out of his throat. No mercy. Alright, there we go. Now I see the fucking Great Wall of China walking towards me. I have to make quick work of this shield douche. Right in the fucking nose. Okay. So I'm gonna see, since I could stealth attack the Shinobi Hunter earlier, I'm gonna see if I can do the same thing to Shigoki here. So I'm gonna run around through this little area here. And try and make my way out into the reeds. Now it's time to use my super shinobi powers to create a vacuum in my asshole and suck up all this yin with my chocolate starfish. They always told Sekiro he could make a lot of money with his ass, but this is not what he expected. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to go back through this area to sneak up on Samoa Joe. Now I don't see how these paper mache houses are holding his fat ass up. The guy's about as wide as he is tall. You can still see like the grease stains on the railings where he barely squeezed his fat ass through here. I don't give a shit. I must reproduce with him. I'm gonna be super sneaky beaky like. I'm, it's like I'm not- you know what? No. I'm not here. I'm a shadow. And this shadow has died more than twice. I'm fucking pissed. Look at this back hair this fucking Shrek impersonator has. Gotcha, bitch. Now I think I saw Solaire of Japan sitting back here, so I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, come over here. You wanna help me with this? Tag team out. Alright, here we go. Alright, the time has come. Oh, fuck. That's some severe halitosis right there. Oh, shit, I walked in it. I guess I just have to wait for his bad breath blast to subside. Alright, I've got his ass now, though. Let's see here. This guy's using some jujitsu on my ass. I'm just having to, like... Someone get me some fucking hedge clippers for this guy's back here. Alright, calm down there, Dionysus. This guy's just chugging away, doesn't give a shit. So I'm gonna chug on him. You can chug on this wiener. You've entered my dojo now, Juso. Or whatever your fucking name is. Right, he's trying the dragon palm strike. Trying to stop my heart not right. That's a cheap move. And now he's vomiting on the sword. An unexpe unexpected play to be sure, but... Very realistic one. I like that, though. Just like in real life, when I... Go to sword fight someone. I vomit all over that shit. Fucking Solaire, come over here. Help me, my foot's stuck in the ground again. Ooh, barely made it out of that one. Okay, it's time to trim this back here once and for all. You've entered my dojo, Shigoki. And I will have you. Time to do some manscaping. Got him. Well, that wasn't too bad once I had all his fucking little cronies taken out. Last time I tried to fight him, they came over here and sucked my toes for me while I was trying to have an honor duel with him. Okay, clearly this guy's balding, receding hairline was what saw me through to the end of the day. 
Okay, well that's it for this video. Remember to rate the video, comment down below, and subscribe. Special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. And, uh, yeah. See ya.